Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I've got two cables on my desk today that I thought would be cool to uh, compare and contrast. Um, I've made a few videos uh, before about just talking about analog audio over data cable, uh, specifically uh, network cable, uh, Cat6, Cat5. Um, I made a video talking about the connectors and I've also made a video about uh, some pinouts. Uh, here is another compare and contrast cable uh, video. So. This is a tactical Cat6 cable that, that I build here at LM. Um, this is using Belden DataTuff cable, um, and it is using a uh, Neutrik NE8MX6 slash B connector. Um, and then I have a, another shielded RJ45 on the end with a pro shell on it just to keep it uh, protected. Um, now I am running a little bit behind this week, um, I've got a, a little two week run coming up and I needed to, um, run four channels of audio. So, um, I didn't have time to build my own cables. So I ordered, uh, some sound tools cables from rat sound. Um, I gotta say that I am a huge fan of Dave rat. Um, Dave shout out. I love your videos. I watch them like crazy. I love the way you explain stuff. Um, now I've been watching him talk about this particular cable for a while um there's a there's a bunch of very cool videos if you just if you just uh, just search sound tools uh, super cat cable he's he's got a lot going on it um the reason why this cable was so intriguing to me for this particular application is i needed it to be 25 feet long um and one of the things that he talks about is he wanted his uh tactical cat to uh coil like a mic cable which you know in in our world the audio world um, that's a big deal. Uh, this uh, military grade uh, tactical cat cable uh, is not super friendly to coil. So as an example, uh, this black cable is a 10 foot cable. Uh, this purple cable from Sound Tools is a 25 foot cable. So uh, as far as uh, packing it into a little Pelican or a flight case, uh, this, this rocks. Uh, 25 feet of uh, data tough is not gonna be uh, super, super easy to, uh, to coil. So, um, this has got a uh, really cool PVC lining on it. It gives you some heat shrink on here. So if you want to put a, put a label on it. So um, for me, I, I want to see what the, what the guts are like. So uh, comparing the two uh, connectors here, um, this is a, uh, this, this cable is a carrier uh, and it also has an RJ45 integrated into it. So if I take this apart, Um, you do have a, uh, a little O-ring right here to keep this waterproof, or at least water resistant. I know that these are IP65 uh, rated. And if you pull this back, um, you've got uh, your strain relief. And then there is actually a little cassette that goes in here. Uh, so this, this portion of the RJ45 is... Uh, static. It's it's permanently mounted in this in this uh, connector. Um, these are really a pain in the butt to put together, so I don't really want to take it apart too far. Um, but there is a little uh, PCB that goes inside this connector, and you you crimp the cables on either side, and then you insert it. Um, there, I have a video that shows you how this works. Uh, just check the link, and uh, and you can see it. So I'm going to put this back together because I don't want it to fall apart. Because I actually do need this cable, and I'm literally packing cable trunks while we're while we're speaking. So, um, so if we take our super cat apart, um, this is the any eight MX six or excuse me, any eight MX B one, I think, um, on Neutrix site, they do have these little RJs that are yellow and red. Um, but I don't know specifically what it is. So again, this is shielded. Um, you you are getting your 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 pin ones uh, tied together. So if you're doing analog audio, all your pin ones uh, for grounds go to uh, this shield right here. Um, they uh, they take the uh, the the shield, the drain wire, and wrap it around, and then just crimp this. I mean, this is a pretty standard. It's a pretty standard RJ. Um, but again, you can you can tell that this is really flexible and it's uh, it's easy. So just again, building the. Uh, connector back again you have your little uh chuck strain relief just goes right in there like that whoops and it falls off really easily too ha and then this just assembles like this so um 
shout out to Dave. The Sound Tools cable is very cool. I'm glad that I got my hands on it. Um, it, it, it kills me to buy, uh, to buy somebody else's cables because I make cables for a living, but I got to say, this is a very nice cable. So if anybody's looking at it, it's, uh, definitely worth the, uh, definitely worth the cash to, uh, to buy. Um, I paid retail for it. Unfortunately, I bought it from Amazon, which I generally don't like to do, but, uh, I'm in a hurry and they, they had it in stock. So alas, um, if you have any questions about the difference between uh, either uh, you know a uh, custom built cable that we make or the the uh, cable that, that Dave's making, um, just drop a comment below. This is very very cool stuff. I'm really excited to uh, to play with this on the road. Um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment below. Thanks for uh, stopping by.